This animation explains how a young person can get the support and help they need through an education, health and care plan, or an EHC plan for short. This EHC plan allows young people to get the most out of their life. Young people with an EHC plan will normally have very complex needs which require complex arrangements. Other young people may find that they do not need an EHC plan but can access all the help and support locally from other services offered by the County Council, health services, schools, colleges, groups, organisations and charities. In England, statements of special educational needs and learning difficulty assessments have now been replaced by the Education, Health and Care Plan. An Education, Health and Care Plan will cover children and young people from birth to 25. It will extend the protection and rights of young people into further education and training. We describe the journey for an EHC plan as an education, health and care plan pathway. We use a lollipop model to explain the seven stages of the pathway. This animation explains what each of these stages means to young people and their families. Not every family will progress from stage one through to stage seven. For the majority of families, it will not be necessary to progress beyond stage one in order to access the right type of support and help for the young person. Stage one, the local offer. Families and young people may require additional help and support. Stage one introduces the family to a package of support and help in their local area. It could be a service that is ordinarily available, a charity which provides advice and help, or a local support group of other families who meet regularly to share ideas. The local offer can be accessed on a website which describes services available to families and young people. The majority of children and young people will have their needs met through the local offer at stage one. They will not need to move on to stage two. An education, health and care plan will not be necessary. Stage two, referral. When the family believes that their child's needs are so complex and complex arrangements are required or highly specialist support is required, it's time to move on to stage two. In most cases, professionals working with a family will make a referral on their behalf. At this stage, the family or professional makes a referral into a multi-agency team, which is a group of people from education, health and care services. The team will acknowledge the family's referral. The team will then look carefully at each request and decide what is available through the local offer and whether the young person is eligible for an EHC plan. After a decision has been made, the team will contact the family to explain what will happen next. If the decision is yes, then stage three of the pathway will automatically be initiated. If the decision is no, the family will be signposted to alternative sources of support. Stage three, my story. If the young person is eligible for an EHC plan, the family will be asked to provide more information about the young person and their needs. At this stage, the family will complete a document called All About Me. The family will be asked to think what is working well in their situation and what could be made better if support and resources were organised differently. These ideas will be included in the All About Me document. If the family needs help to complete this document, a family supporter will be on hand to guide them. An electronic version of the All About Me document may be offered. That takes the form of a wiki website. A wiki is a multimedia website and enables the young person to tell their story through pictures, videos, maps, sound clips, as well as text. The wiki website and the All About Me document helps to tell the young person's story so the people who are developing the EHC plan fully understand the family situation. At the same time, professionals will be asked to provide information about the young person's needs. All of this information 
will help to complete my story. Stage four, my plan. Stage four introduces the EHC plan. This document is produced by a team with the young person at the center. The family and professionals will co-produce the plan. The content of the plan will be discussed at a multi-agency meeting. Parents and the young person will be invited to attend this meeting and contribute to the wording of the plan. The plan sets out what the young person will need to ensure they reach their goals and ambitions. The family will receive a written version of the plan after the meeting. Stage 5. My budget. At stage 5, the family will decide how they want to manage the budget which comes with the EHC plan. The family may manage some of the funding themselves in order to best access the support that the young person needs. Stage 6. My life. At this stage, the plan has been finalised, the resources have been agreed, and the family and their supporters are now ready to put the plan into action. The resources aim to provide greater choice and control to enable the young person to work towards achieving the shared outcomes which have been agreed. Stage 7. My review. At least once a year, the family and professionals will be asked to review the EHC plan. A regular review keeps the young person's plan up to date and relevant.